Hello YouTube, it's Steve, and here we have today is the LBX 001 Achilles. So this is from the LBX series, which is pretty much like Build Divers or any kind of uh, toy battling anime. So it's actually pretty damn cool. So I uh, had a chance to watch a little bit of the anime, play a little bit of the game, and uh, I can honestly say I'm pretty impressed. And even though New Type doesn't carry the LBX series, I still encourage you to go over to the website, check out what they got, and if you do see something you want, then use that promo code CROSAMA, you can get 10% off your purchase. And for those US buyers, if you if your kit purchases are over $59, then your shipping is free. So I think that's actually a, a pretty damn good deal. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the review. So looking at the head sculpt, you know what? I actually like it. I, I didn't think I was gonna like it previously, but you know the mohawk looks pretty damn cool. So I appreciate it. It is gonna have a lot of stickers, at least for the head sculpt. You are gonna have the stickers for the pretty much like the egg white, which is gonna be that little V in the forehead, and you're gonna have the little base of the mohawk, and it's gonna have the eye stickers as well, which is yeah, it's, you know it's to be uh, expected. Now we're looking at the arms. Obviously, there's like no details whatsoever you are gonna have stickers pretty much right there in the base of the bicep where that blue is but that's actually pretty decent you know I, I don't think the sticker is horrible it's something you can easily paint but uh yeah my painting skills are are not up to par right now so I just decided to use the stickers and the only hands you're gonna get are going to be these kind of accessory holding hands so you don't get anything that's like expressive basically just two hands that are able to hold any type of items now we're looking at the body, I actually think the body sculpt is, is probably one of the best features of this kit. It just, it looks super damn cool. I love the clear red piece. It only sucks that the little red on the top of the body, those little two red stripes, those are stickers as well as the V in the middle of that red jewel. So this is something I am highly going to encourage people to paint. It's, it's just going to look so much better. And you're going to have a sticker right here in the back of the body. Now the waist, I would actually say uh, there's probably a lot left to be desired. It's hardly any kind of detail. It looks fairly plain. But you know what? It, it just kind of does its job. I, I wish there was a little more detail or something with it. But majority of the time, the waist of anything is going to be pretty damn lackluster. Now with the legs, I absolutely love them. The only sticker you're going to see is that blue that's pretty much resting right on top of the foot. Other than that, the gold is a part and it just basically goes right underneath that blue part that goes on top of the leg. Lots of good color separation for something that honestly I think would be relatively cheap. So yeah, I, I, I really understand why the Gunpla God gave me this. This kit is, is pretty top tier for being something that is uh, low cost. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The damn cape is just a piece of paper. A piece of paper that you have to cut out from the instruction manual. I don't care if every single kit has been like this in the past for the LBX series. This shit is, is just horrible. Unexcusable. Because I've seen that hyper dimension whatever damn kit. And it actually comes with cloth. Granted you have to pay a little bit extra. But I would pay the goddamn extra for some cloth. It doesn't even need to have wire in it to stand up. I'll, I'll fix that myself. But goddamn paper. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's the biggest disappointment. Now, this kid is only going to have two accessories. The first one is going to be the Achilles Lance. So, it honestly is a pretty damn cool weapon, uh, but originally it's actually supposed to be molded in uh, silver. Or So, it's actually a pretty damn cool weapon. The only problem I'm, I'm really seeing here is obviously the color accuracy. It's not silver. It's pretty much a gray. So, you are going to have to paint that. Uh, also, there's no real way to kind of arc the uh, the wrists, so that way you can actually have a thrusting kind of motion. But, you know what, it is what it is. I, I still think it looks pretty damn cool, so if you want to mod it, definitely do so. Uh, and otherwise, I, I, I still think it's, it's still pretty damn cool. And lastly, you are going to have the Achilles shield. I don't really care for the gold, I think the gold looks pretty damn tacky, but uh, you know what? The, the shield overall doesn't look bad. I uh, I just kind of wish the gold looked a little better. And underneath is going to be gold as well, so you may want to paint that like gray or whatever color you're really choosing. Uh, I would probably just go with a gray or maybe even like a silver. But otherwise, it's, it's going to look pretty damn tacky. 
So in terms of articulation, the uh, kit isn't really bad overall. A lot of ball joints pretty much riddled throughout the entire body. Uh, the actual joints like the elbows and the knees aren't really too bad. It's kind of like what you expect. So pretty much I'm only going to have like one point of articulation. Otherwise, that's that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, uh, it's a really good kit for the price tag. So if you do find this online for relatively cheap, I would honestly say anything less than $15 is going to be a good price. So I, I would highly encourage you to pick it up if you can. And he is going to have a peg hole right underneath the gooch, so if you have a stand line around, you could definitely attach it to him. So honestly, aside from the paper cape, the only other issues I really see with this kid is uh, probably the overabundant amount of stickers. Uh, maybe the joints are kind of like, eh, they pop out pretty often, so the shoulder joints in particular, as well as the uh, base of the foot, those just pop out all the time because they're all going to be on ball joints so you may want to you know tough them up maybe with some uh clear nail, nail polish otherwise uh it's, it's a pretty damn good kit so i honestly encourage a lot of people to go out and, and look for the series i've known of this series since about um 2011 2012 ish and i just thought it was pretty damn childish and which it is don't get me wrong but uh yeah i i, I think it's still pretty cool for a a children's game and children's anime Lots of good potential here, and uh, yeah, I might be getting more, so we'll see, guys. But uh, other than that, definitely appreciate all of you for watching, and like always, rate, comment, subscribe, check out new Type HQ if you do want to pick up any kind of kits, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.